eating the right foods ends up making your life simpler because you're hungry less often, you eat less often, specifically when you look at nutrient-dense animal-based foods. These are your steaks and your meat. They're actually simple to prepare. They're simple to shop for. They're readily available. And even when you're eating out, you know, you can find these whole real foods on any menu. You know, stick to the simple, basic things, you know, the steak, the piece of fish, the, the vegetables that are just, you know, simply sauteed in some butter, for instance. And, you know, you'd want to avoid the processed foods that show up in all the restaurants. And these are things like the breads and, you know, in most cases, the pastas and the sauces and just, you know, stick to the basics, keep it simple. And it turns out that eating real whole food is simpler in many situations than trying to eat or trying to make the processed food alternatives. I think this was one of the biggest eye openers for me in the book was when you're eating better, you're going to feel better. You're going to make better choices when you're not eating properly. You feel worse and you're making worse choices. There was an anecdote in there about soda and how it's not natural and it, and it makes you yearn for uh, and hungry for other foods that are not good for you. Yeah, you know, I know you guys talk a lot about mindset on the program as it relates to, you know, many different issues. And your nutritional strategy, your way of eating really comes down to mindset as well. And, you know, in the book, I go through the seven principles of metabolic health. And the first principle is I want you to think of your health as a system, not as a goal. And I'm sure many in your audience will recognize that. You know, it, it's what Scott Adams talks about. It's what many others talk about. When you focus on the big picture, the overall system, and then you find the habits that are going to support that system, that is what leads to long-term success. And that is the mindset that is going to lead you to good metabolic health. All too often, you know, we're focused on the short-term goals. We're just telling ourselves, I want to lose the 20 pounds. When you do that, when you're only focused on the short term, you know, one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to be successful, you're going to lose the 20 pounds, and then you tend to say, great, now you can go back to what I was doing before, and you end up gaining back the weight and more. Uh, or more commonly, you don't lose the 20 pounds and you get discouraged and you give up and you say, well, I might as well go back to what I was doing before. And instead, you know, what worked for me, what works for my clients is you get that mindset of I want to be metabolically healthy and I am going to find the habits that are going to support my metabolic health. Mm -hmm.